What's going on YouTube? So this is the night before the tournament. This is going to kind of be a vlog, but also we're going to talk about uh, beginners and certain things uh, that you may want to do if you're going into your first tournament or if you've been doing some tournaments but you want to start possibly trying to win. Maybe you're not doing it for fun anymore. You're doing it to compete. I don't know. Um, but just some things to think about uh, before you do your, your first few tournaments. So one is, for me personally, um, is I get everything ready the night before. I've got my discs, I've got my spares, I've got my towels. Uh, I have not looked at the weather. I should do that um, just to get ready for the weather. But I have uh, everything else set up. I have a coat and everything ready. Uh, I've gassed the car up, got water, got everything. Uh, I have an idea of when I'm going to go to bed, when I'm going to wake up. Just kind of get an idea. I know myself. I don't sleep very well the night before tournaments. So I uh, have an idea of going to bed about 1. And then waking up about 6. Uh, I have my big alarm. I'm about to set this alarm here. Get everything ready. Uh, one thing I like to do the night before is get the uh, is, is get uh, my whole assignment. This tournament, they don't have it. So I don't know what hole I'm starting on. Um. Luckily, I know the course very well, so I don't have to worry about that. And we'll talk about how I'm going to get ready for the tournament tomorrow when you guys will see this. Uh, in the next part, what I'm doing the day of to get myself ready. Um, yeah, the one of the caveat that I will have that I used to do, I don't do it anymore. I do think it's beneficial, is to, before you go to bed, to, uh, if you have a basket, if, if, if you have a putting basket, this is what I do. Uh, I go about 15 feet out, 10, 15 feet, nothing hard, nothing uh, nothing where I have to really try. And I like to make, you know, 10, 15, 20 putts from 10 or 15 feet out, roughly, depending on how I'm feeling, uh, right, before I go, right before I go upstairs and go to bed, just to get myself in that mind state of, I know how to putt, everything feels good, I got this, um, so that I, my nerves are a little lower for the next day. Now, I'm not doing that tonight because I work tonight, um, so, I'm, like I said, I'm a little bit, or I don't know if I said it here, but I'm a little bit behind of where I want to be, um, so I don't have time to do it, but it is what it is, but I would recommend trying that. It helped me a lot when I first started. That said, uh, we're going to sign off of here and go to bed, and the next part of this video will be day of, so hope this helps you guys. Um, hopefully, I can win this tournament. I think I can, so. We're going to try it, but hope this helps. Enjoy. All right, YouTube. So it's day of the tournament. Actually getting up a little bit late. Um, I got up one time, and then I said, I have, I have a few minutes. Went back to sleep. Shouldn't have done that. Um, really, the only thing I'm missing is the stretching at home. Uh, I, will get, I will get to the course about the time that I wanted to, so I didn't oversleep too much, just... Uh, enough where uh, my stretching and like my putting uh, at home uh, I'm unable to do which basically all I was going to do was do 15 footers uh, for you know 10-15 minutes just make myself feel better about my putting stroke but what do we get to the course um, something I missed like I said woke up one time then went to take a nap and then that nap ended up being what 40 minutes longer than uh, it should have been so we're going to head to the course, and then we'll go again. We're going to talk about what uh, what to expect at your first tournament or uh, kind of the mind state I want to get myself in. Duly noted on my way there, I'm going to be listening to uh, audiobooks. Uh, I like stories, so I listen to like some, some audiobook stories uh, or uh, motivational things. kind of just depends on what I'm feeling that day. I think today it will be audiobooks, um, but... Just a caveat to that, on the way there, drive or listen to whatever you want. It's just going to kind of clear your mind and get you in that mind state and ready to compete. So, see you guys at the course. Alright, so guys, we registered actually early. It was supposed to be 8.30 when registration opens, but uh, Cruz has it open. Uh, so we registered. Our, uh, our disc that we got was a uh, 2021 Firebird, Sexton Firebird. Uh, he had, he, I mean, he has, um, he has like a six claw stuff, so he has a great, great deal of stuff 
for whatever you want. Um, so what we're going to do here now, when we warm up, is they have three temporary holes. Now, I know the temporary holes. The one I looked at looks like it's shorter than it was last time I played this. Uh, I played uh, one of his tournaments. The one down the hill I'm going to look at right now, and then I know the other one's probably the shot over the water. Uh, because these are temporary holes, uh, you kind of want to just kind of look at them and get an idea of them. So if you come to a tournament, yep, and he's just setting, he, the guy just set the basket up. But if you come into a tournament and there's temporary holes, uh, especially if you know the course, I would recommend you go look at the temporary holes. Um, I don't know how far this is. It looks a little bit farther than it was last time. Because it's downhill, it's probably still a putter. But I'm going to throw it a few times. And when I'm throwing, one thing uh, I think a lot of people do is they try to throw hard when they warm up. You know, they want to get... I don't really worry about that. I worry about how my throw feels. Um, where am I missing? You know, uh, am I... Am I grip locking? Am I early releasing? Am I hitting my power pocket? Things like that, beginning of the round. Uh, because it really doesn't matter how hard I throw right now. Um, or even how accurate I throw. I want to know. Uh, I, I want my body to feel good when I throw. So, we're going to throw this hole a few times. And then we'll talk about putting here in a minute. Uh, when we warm up putting. But I want to see how close I can get here. This is definitely one you, you want to get. This, this short hole right here. Alright, uh, alright guys. I was going to vlog a little more, but I ran into some of the juniors. Uh, Gavin and Hayden, who are sponsored by Prodigy. They are really great guys uh, and very good at disc golf. But let me make these two putts and then we'll talk about putting for a tournament. Made one. Oh, missed the second one. So... With putting before a tournament, I'm not even focusing on making them, really. Uh, especially at, like, this putting practice right here. This is the toboggan, or this is the Rolling Hills Labyrinth at toboggan. That'd be really cool. Uh, a lot of different lines, a lot of wooded. I'm not focused on making them. I'm focused on hitting my lines. Uh, making sure that when I release, it feels good. Uh, and that everything goes like it should. So, kind of same thing with throwing, which I'm going to throw a few more here. It's not so much about how well I'm throwing, it's feeling how I'm throwing uh, is my goal. So, got some guys up here. I'm going to finish this out. But, you yeah, know, guys, um, my whole uh, approach to, to get warming up for a tournament is how it feels. Not so much how I'm doing. Uh, because when I get in the round, it doesn't matter how well I was doing, I need to be able to feel that energy. So, um, yeah. Enjoy the next part. Let's see what we can do. Let's go. Alright, guys. I have about 10 minutes till tee off. I have everything with me. Um, I gotta take my wallet out of my pocket, put my minis in my pocket. But, basically... Uh, I went and shot, I went through one through six. I threw a few shots. More so just getting it to feel good. Not so much playing well. I mean, I did play the holes well, but that wasn't my goal. So, now I feel good. Putt feels good. Hopefully, this will translate to this round. But we will know, you guys will know uh, before I will, because it will be the next part of the video of round one, how I did and how I'm going to attack round two. See you in the next part. Alright YouTube. Down in round one. This round did not go how I planned. Um, at all. Uh, three over. Uh, the leader right now is at like eight, eight under. So I'm 11 strokes back. So winning is out of the question. Cashing maybe. Maybe. Uh, there's a lot of people still playing. And really, I just, um, you know, I talk about feeling it. Something was just off. I felt so good in practice. I got to the round, and just nerves just slammed me at every minute. And, you know, that's one thing I got to figure out is these nerves. 
I have no idea what set them off. I just, everything made me nervous. Do a good shot, was nervous. Missed a lot of putts because I was nervous. Like, rushing my throws. Um, that's going to happen. So we're going to try to figure it out second round and hopefully cash. Um, hopefully get an ace here soon. I don't know. There's a lot of aceable holes out here. And, uh, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Um, but go get some food. Go relax. Get these nerves out of here. And get ready for second round. Alright guys, let's see how we do. I right, got some food. Got some caffeine. Looking back. <laughs> um, I was rushing everything. I talk about that flow. Of, you know, not like just, you know, getting there and feeling everything, feeling your shot. I just wasn't doing that. So this round, I'm going to work on that again. Um, I missed probably five or six 15 footers. Just let the nerves get to me. Um, that thought of I'm going to miss this or I could miss this, I let it get in my head. So, uh, waiting for second round. Could eat my food, relax, and hopefully get into the cash. Uh, I shot 835, which is 33 points lower than my rating. So, rating's going to tank a little bit, but that's okay. Um, unless I shoot like a 940 this round, which we'll see. Maybe I can. I know I can shoot well at this course. I just have to do it now. So, that's all I got. We're going to see what we can do. Alrighty, end of the tournament. Shot one down uh, for the second round, so two over for the tournament. And everything felt a lot better uh, second round. Didn't shoot the greatest, um, still missed some putts and things like that, but uh, was actually able to put something respectable together. So, all in all, this is your first tournament and whatnot. Understand, uh, you know, nerves might come into a play. Learn to relax, learn to um, just kind of take it as it is and go from there. I'm going to go play a local course on my way home uh, just to kind of get out of my head. Because <laughs> um, round one really messed with me. But that said, super fun tournament. Did my best. Can't be mad. And yeah, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope I said some things that maybe, uh, you know, y'all will take to your first tournament. All right, guys. Peace.